Kyle Bradshaw from Cruiser Customizing. Greg Beck with Tucker Ike Distributing. On this week's Wednesday with Greg, we're talking about road safety. Yeah, not all roads are the same. If you're riding in the country, riding in the mountains, or riding in the sea, each of those has to be taken for what they are. You know, different dangers, different uh, attitudes of the bike, um, what you can see, what you can't see. Nighttime versus daytime. Huge, dramatic changes in how you actually maneuver your motorcycle. Yeah, and what to look for. Let's start with the simplest, Greg. A straight road in a less populated area. Where are you going to want to ride at? Well, I'm, I'm going to ride between the, the center line, if there is a center line, and the center of my lane. That area is usually the cleanest. In other words, in the middle of the lane, you're going to have cars dripping oil and antifreeze and all that. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the road, in other words, in, in what would be the dotted line, or double yellow, that's going to be dirty too. So right between those two is going to be the cleanest place to ride. So let's talk about a more populated road, so say a city street. I think I'm going to go there too because uh, driveways, uh, people coming out from the right, mm -hmm. a lot closer. If you're in the left part of the lane, you have more room for error. If somebody's coming directly at me, I'm watching them. I don't care if they have their turn signal on or not, I'm watching them. Now let's talk about windy mountain roads, or if you're riding through the hills taking some twisties, what's the best route to take? Again, I'm going to be closer to the middle of the road, and sometimes I'm going to actually cheat a little bit and be on the other side, approaching a corner, especially if I can't see around it. I am going to make a decision at some point to come back on my side, but barely, so that I can see more around the corner and have the bike in an attitude where I can go either left or right if I have to for an oncoming vehicle or an uh, uh, obstruction in the middle of the road like a, like a deer or uh, mm. an avalanche or something. Well, that is one thing I like to talk about is that when you ride in a group or with more than one person in the mountains, it's really good to separate your stagger just a little bit more so that both riders can use the entire road. One of our audience rides metric cruisers. Right. I would like to urge you if you get the opportunity to go to a track day, go to some place that has advanced motorcycle training even though it's not the genre of motorcycle you typically ride on the road the skills that you learn there can easily be applied true true if, when you start leaning your bike over out of desire or necessity for example you're going down a road and all of a sudden that left hander is a little bit sharper than you thought instead of hitting the brake stand the bike up and run off the road you might lean it to negotiate the corner and knowing what that lean angle is feels like Knowing the ground clearance for your motorcycle is really important. I talked about some of the road configurations. Now let's talk about road condition. How would we really benefit from riding different in wet weather than we do in dry weather? Well, riding in wet weather, boy, I tell you, it can be, uh, I mean, I, I really enjoy it. It's kind of cool, but you really got to pay attention. You, you got to keep the bike more straight up and down. You, you got to, the, the road can be slipperier in, in different spots for different reasons. Uh, usually vision is impaired, mm -hmm. um, the tires don't get as warm, so the grip, the mechanical grip is less. So you really got to pay attention. White line, I mean the double yellow lines in the middle. Any painted surface, avoid. Yeah, Period. amen. I know I've hit them before. Now while talking about slippery spots, you mentioned the center of the road, you mentioned the painted surfaces, manholes, grates, anything that's metal is also going to be very slippery. When it's My wife and I were riding around the island of Tasmania on our honeymoon and I came around a right hander and I saw a shiny spot in the road. It was a square, the, the, a patch. I thought, well, maybe patch isn't so good traction, so I avoided it. Wife didn't avoid it. I had to come back and pick her up. Oh, Fortunately, cool. she wasn't hurt, but you know, you got to watch for that stuff. Uh, wherever you ride, ride safe and have a good time. Till next week, take care.